All right, students, now we're on to the bandsaw. Now, the bandsaw is a pretty fun machine to use. It's pretty safe to use. There's only a few things you need to be careful of with the bandsaw. Now, the bandsaw is a unique machine where it can do ripping cuts and cross cuts. So it can do both and it can do miters. So it can do all the different kinds of cuts on a board. But the drawback to doing that is the edges the bandsaw makes or the cuts that they make aren't square. They're not square up and down and they're not straight like they are on the table saw and the miter box saw and the radial arm saws. So the main thing to understand about the bandsaw is it's a band. It's a steel banded blade. We're going to do a little bit of uh, camera moving around to kind of show you this. So I'm going to open up some doors and I'm going to lift up some guards that you're not allowed to do during class. So here on the with the bandsaw we can see that we got the band the blade band right here and that it's a continuous goes around these wheels on both sides and comes down the other side as we go to set up the bandsaw the thing that we need to do is we need to adjust its guard so I'm going to close some doors we're going to get our workpiece so what you're going to do is you're going to set the workpiece down right here right next to the blade you're going to grab the guard, the little yellow uh, knob right here, and you're going to take it and take this blade guard down. Now there's basically two ways the bandsaw can hurt you. The biggest one being you get your hand or body parts into that blade. If your body parts don't get into the blade, then you probably won't get hurt on the bandsaw. So we're going to do a little bit of magic here, shifting this around so you can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it here with the bandsaw. So we've set the height so that it's about one eighth of an inch above our wood. So that will protect us from all the extra blade that we've covered up and it will protect and do a better quality cut by making the guides right near closer to each other. We have the red zone. So the bandsaw has a four inch margin of safety and basically the whole margin of safety has to do with you keeping your fingers away from the blade. But notice it's kind of an unusual shape because it really only cuts on the front side of the blade. So on the bandsaw, we're gonna make some different cuts. So I'm gonna take our board here and I'm gonna draw a line. And I'm gonna cut on that line. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on, put it in. Keeping my hands outside that margin of safety in that red zone, I'm gonna feed it in to get across but oftentimes we're going to ask the bandsaw to do curves that the other saws can't do so we can make curve cuts quite easily on the bandsaw but notice how rough it looks some people say it's kind of rough like when you'd use a chainsaw where it's not a real perfect tool so we use it and cut it rough like this and then we'll go to some sanders and we'll clean that up pretty quick so on the bandsaw we got to realize the teeth are in the front and it only cuts when we're going forward so if we try to go sideways or do circles with it, it doesn't do a very good job cutting. So here I can come in, cut across, pretty easy. So with the bandsaw, there's some funny rules because it's got the band. And the first one is, is we don't want to back out or go backwards on a long cut. That usually happens if somebody needs to come and make a cut similar to this where they're going to cut in and, and make a U or some sort of a shape and they don't plan themselves some room to come out. So what we'll do here is we do what's called a relief cut or we'll make several little cuts that just relieve the blade as it comes back out. Now notice I have my pencil with me, that's very important, keep it close by. And we'll first make these relief cuts. Just bigger than my line, so the line stays on the wood. Now if I try to cut too much, or bind the blade too much, it starts to squeal at me, and that tells me that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to twist it too much. So 
So what the accidents I've had on the bandsaw most have been when people are trying to remove scraps away from near the blade. So we suggest you always bring a pencil and use that pencil to clean the scraps away. Okay, so a few oddball things we need to cover on the bandsaw. First one is, always adjust that guard so it's just higher than the piece. And as we change things around, you're going to need to change that height for all the pieces that we do. Second thing, we're safe because we always hold it down flat to the table. We don't try to do any sort of strange angle cuts because the bandsaw is going to grab it and slam it down anyways as the teeth are coming down and cutting. So we always keep it down flat. Third, we never want to back out of long cuts. So as we make a cut in, like these short little uh, relief cuts, those were short. We could come straight in, straight out, and not bind the blade. But if I did a long cut, then the hazard is you'd bind the blade and you'd actually pull the blade off of the wheels that are top and bottom here on the bandsaw. And so plan your cuts to have some place to dive out, plan some relief cuts so that you're not trying to back out of a long cut. And then the other strange one is, is that if you're running in the bandsaw and you hear the blade break, it sounds really loud, like a, a small 22 gun going off, makes a really loud pop. First thing you do is step away, then you'll reach over and turn it off. There's always a hazard that blade's gonna get caught on something and kind of shoot out as it's broken, so we wanna turn it off. Now to keep a blade from breaking, we don't wanna twist or make, try to make the blade cut sideways and twist it that way. We always wanna cut with the front. So we always gotta be moving forward as we're doing our curves back and forth. Bandsaw is a fun tool to use. Use it safely by making sure you bring your pencil to remove the scraps. Make sure you have it down flat and that'll cover most of the issues here with the bandsaw.